taqsim għali miss, Mark Avellino seri la għana ma players u membri mit-team tal-Malta Crusaders le għal team Malti tal AFL fil-Victoria. Kifu koll ma Brian Clark, il-persuna nkarigata min Australian Football International. As part of our coverage of the Harmony Cup, we and the Malta team, uh, we've got the pleasure of meeting Paul and Dean, who are part of the leadership group for the Malta Crusaders. Uh, Paul, how did you become involved with Malta Crusaders? I uh, found it through Facebook and uh, thought it was a good idea to play football for uh, the country I come from. Um, my parents are born in, so yeah. Dean, what about yourself? I've got a few friends that actually play for Team Italy and Team Lebanon and yeah they've told me that Team Malta was making a team so I looked into it a bit and then got added into the Facebook group as well. Fantastic and um, have both of you played AFL before? Yes. Uh, at what level? Uh, B grade seniors. Yeah, I'm still playing with Caroline Springs at B grade as well. So when you, your friend sort of said, uh, well, there's a Maltese team kind of happening, uh, did that kind of like instinct of a little bit of rivalry, rivalry with the Italians come through to make you sort of want to join it, or was it just to sort of um, have the experience of being involved in the cup? Well, I've always wanted to represent Malta for starters, like as like my grandparents and my parents uh, come from Malta, so I've always wanted to represent the country and I've always wanted there to be a Maltese team, so there's a little bit of that rivalry, but at the end of the day, I did just want to really represent the country. And, and Paul? Oh, I think when push comes to shove, I think we're there to represent Malta. I think the rival will be pushed aside and everyone wants to do well for their country. No one wants to lose and we want to win for Malta and do the country proud, basically. So I think I don't think the rival will matter too much. What's been the main form of training that you guys have had to do for, for this, uh, to get prepared for, for, the, for the game? Uh, we've been training uh, nearly every Sunday once we've d developed the team. So when Brian Clark got involved and um, uh, we've been doing a bit of extra as well over the Christmas obviously coming down doing some sprints just uh, working on the fitness uh, we haven't had as many players that we wanted there but we did have a few numbers come down so now we're getting back into it which we can see we've got a uh, you know good good amount of numbers and finally um, is there anything that you'd like to uh, say in regards to getting people to the to the game on the 20th of March oh well it's going to be a good day you know it's ran by the AFL so get down there there's going to be like uh, family fun like painting uh, for kids you know face painting and that um, I believe there's going to be like serving of drinks there and it's just you know to bring all the multicultural culturalism in Australia together and have a you know great day. Grace you're the team manager for the Malta Crusaders um, how did you become involved and why? I became involved with the um, Crusaders because I love AFL football and I found that it would be a perfect opportunity to um, represent Malta um, from my heritage so I jumped on, on the opportunity. Fantastic. So what is your role as a team manager and have you ever done that before? I've never done team manager before for AFL um, but I have done work as a treasurer for cricket so it's kind of administrative um, requirements so I'll be responsible on the day to make sure anything that Brian requires or Terry requires I'm there to help them out. Um, is it hard working with um, a diverse group of players like this? Um, no, they've really gelled and bonded really well um, and they're really proud to represent Malta. Um, the team jerseys, um, I think you might have had a bit of involvement with them. Uh, they're pretty um, fantastic to look at. Um, what was the sort of uh, process of getting that jersey organised? The official jumper was pretty simple, that's just the, the, the flag um, of our country and the actual training Guernseys, the boys wanted something that they could train in and um, you know play run around in so they will become they all picked the design and then the colours and it was you know put on Facebook and went to votes and that's how it came to be. And um, of course I'm, I'm sure you want to invite our viewers to um, come along on the day so when is the Harmony Cup happening and um, what, what can you say to our viewers to make them come along in big amounts to, ce to celebrate the Maltese community? Um, I'd say this is the first time it's uh, um, the first time Maltese have a, a team in AFL and as everybody knows we're big in soccer but this is AFL and Victorian so I urge all Maltese to come and support us. We're a small country but we can be as loud as anybody else. It would be great on the day to have that support. 
Grace, thank you so much and all the best uh, for success in the Harmony Cup. Thank you. 200 countries are represented in Melbourne and we wanted to bring them together and we thought, thought that uh, footy, which is you know the AFL, which is such a uh, well-known sport, um, was, the, was the glue that would bring them together. We're all from different backgrounds, beliefs and cultures. We're all united by a love of, uh, of the great game. Ultimately, what's the um, future for the Harmony Cup? Like, what, what would the AFI like to see it achieve uh, moving forward? We'd love to see it expand to more teams. We'd love to, to get more women's teams and have a standalone women's comp. And we'd love to have like an AFL Nines, like a non-contact competition as well. For those communities that are new to the game, might not want to start with the contact, maybe start with a bit of non-contact and then branch out into the full-scale contact 18 aside. So there's uh, tremendous growth uh, opportunities to get more communities involved. Can you just tell me a little bit about the structure of how the day actually operates? Um, I believe it's around Rob, around Robin event, um, but how does that kind of work on the day? Sure, so um, we have those eight teams, we play across a couple of ovals and um, uh, you play three games during the day and the two top teams make the uh, final and play a fourth game. Uh, and uh, it, there's no percentage involved. We don't uh, have percentage. We don't want teams to thrash each other and you know have to score 300 points to make the final. It's all about wins and also importantly about behaviour. So if the teams behave themselves on the day, it's not just about winning. It's about uh, being a good good citizen on the day. They make the final and we have uh, Ron Barassi, the, the AFL legend, will present the, uh, the cup to the winning team. Fantastic. So um, I guess finally, um, would you like to do a call out to people to join us on the day and uh, give a few more details about uh, the competition and the final? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that. So the the, uh, the Harmony Cup's on the 20th of March, Sunday the 20th of March. It's a free event. It's aimed at uh, families as well. So come down and support uh, Team Malta and support the other teams. So no charge to come along. Uh, Get a jumper, wear something Maltese, um, come down, take photos, enjoy the day. It's not just about football, it's all the cultural exchange as well. There's food down there, there's face painting for the kids. So it's just a fantastic day. It'll be nice and warm, so happy days. Thank you very much and all success with the competition.